Today I'll show you how to quickly test and find new creatives that actually scale. And this is really the quick and dirty solution for all the people who are in a slump right now. We need to get out, the fucking roof is on fire, we need to find new performing creatives now. And this won't go deep into creative strategy, marketing, psychology or anything like that. This is really the quick and dirty solution to get you back to scale. And I would say we hop right in because we will do more thorough, more appropriate videos in the future about creative strategy where we really dive into it because it's key to make an account scale in the long run. But this really helps you get out of slums, reach the next scaling level or anything like that. So I'm really excited for this one too. And I would say we hop right in. Again, we have here six steps that we will walk through. And I would say we start right in the beginning with step one, find the best ads. Now, what you're going to do is let's, let's assume You've already run some ads in the past. You know kind of what's working. Like you know a thing or two about your product and your audience and your niche and what you're doing in there. Now, there are two ways you can do it. Either you already have best performing creatives in your account. That is ideal. But they might have fatigued a bit. So you need to give them like a new sense of life. They, they need some new energy, a new twist. And the second option is you're just starting out and you don't really know what to do but you know a few things about who you're selling to, your audience and everything like that. Now, for that reason or for that option, you go to your competitors ad libraries and not only your competitors, but also actually brands that are outside of your industry. Let's say you sell skincare, go to home decor or go to supplements or anything like that. Something that is a bit more unrelated because you can also find great, great examples from just winning brands like brands that are crushing in different niches you can take inspiration from those to your own brand now then the next step what you're going to do is you go to the you go and download three to five best creatives they could be your own three to five best creatives or it could be creatives that have been running for a long time inside another ad account and you just feel like they might be crushing so you download them and then in the second step what we're doing right here is that we dissect these ads which means a video ad, and I would recommend you go after video ads, you can do image ads, it's the same process basically. With video ads, you just go in there and you essentially dissect them. So you go from the beginning to the end, from A to C, you break down the angles, the scenes and the components of this video to understand why it's working. Because there is something in this video, even if the video looks stupid to you, if it's crushing, then you need to find out why. And that is actually in the components that this video ad is containing. And the tool that comes in really handy is actually Foreplay. You know Foreplay when you save ads, for saving ads, but you can actually do something new with it. And that's transcribing your creatives, which is pretty cool because it saves you a bunch of time just finding out what kind of language and also like text and captions were used in this video. It just puts it out, the voiceover that has been used in this video. And then you can essentially copy it out. And when you steal, for example, like an artist, so we don't just copy, obviously, we like to steal like an artist from another brand or your own creatives. You just copy it out and then you have it in there and you know each of the components. You can assign like component blocks to it. So you say like, this is the hook, this is the product discovery, this is the product benefits, this is the transformation, everything like that. And then you have a much better understanding of what is going on in these creatives and why they might perform. Now let's hop right back. So we analyzed the best angles. We downloaded some videos. We found out why they were working or we have at least a, a great guess why they might be working. And now the next step is you create some ads. Let's say you've already found something that has been working. And one, eye, one angle that might be crushing could be perfect skin in 30 days. Now there are two things you, which you will do with that. First of all, you iterate on this existing best performing angle, which means you create new creatives out of that one best performing angle. So perfect skin in 30 days, that is essentially a transformation. People love transformations. Everything like when people buy something, they want to go through a transformation. They want to go from A to B with everything they do. If, if it's like a supplement to get slimmer, if it's skincare to get perfect skin, even if it's like fashion where they want to like look good or show some status, status. So everything is a transformation after all. And what I would recommend is that you use your existing content and maybe you create some new one, but essentially you could use your existing content and just chop it up, use new captions, use AI voiceovers that you can do with 11 Labs, for example, which is a cool platform for that. 
And then you can create completely new creatives around that angle, perfect skin in 30 days, the transformation. Now, let's say that's the successful transformation. You need to find a re related angle to that. What could be related? Well, probably the opposite. And if you play with that, that is really powerful. I know a brand that sells lash serums and what worked really well for them was, uh, in, on TikTok for example, they used to say, hey, you tried Vaseline or hey, you tried olive oil on your on your lashes and it's just stupid like it's the one thing that people sometimes do there are like these house re home remedies that you try to use but they don't work there is a, a big group of people who are already this solution aware and problem aware and also like just in the in the in the space for finding something that ultimately works for them finally works for them and for that an angle like this is perfect so in the beginning you have the transformation angle, the related angle to that might be the opposite. So if you tried that, it didn't work, like you couldn't make the transformation you were looking for, then try ours. So something like this. And a completely unrelated angle could be an alternative. Something that is a bit like unquestionable proof, it's called. Or like a wild rumor or taboo or something that you, you drop the name, it's like a buzzword and people instantly know what it's about. For skincare, it's obviously Botox. Young girls don't want to get Botox and I completely agree with that, just on a personal note. But it is something that is like so powerful. If you say the word Botox, people know what it's about. And if you connect it to your product and you say like it's the natural alternative to Botox or the natural brother of Botox or something like that, that is really powerful. People instantly know what it's about. If we want to take a drip down uh, advertising memory lane, that was actually Red Bull back in the days. And they called Red Bull the cocaine of poor people. And they called it like, and they said the rumors were like it was made of bull testicles. And while it was not, it was so powerful that it just sold the brand. So if you can connect your product to something that is really powerful in the market, a buzzword, something that is aware and people have it on top of the mind when they hear it, then definitely connect it. But that is just like a quick excourse into that realm, if you can do that. If not, just find an unrelated angle. It could also be about the production, the ingredients, everything like that. Something that was not connected to the first angle and the second angle that was related to it. Now, in the fourth step, it's really getting exciting because you start to test those. So you have one angle and for each angle you create four different ads, four different creatives. They can be repurposed, they can be anything, but it's important that you use like three to five ads around one angle because that just multiplies your chances of success. And that's what you need to do. Again, like you need to survive. This is not like the most honorable work here, stealing like an artist from other brands or doing something like that, but it's about survival and you need to find new creatives to either hit a new scaling level or you just need to get out of a slump. So you create multiple creatives to expand like your net of luck that you essentially have and just make sure you, you scale the opportunities for you multiply the chances of success. And then what you do next is you set up this ABO campaign and it's like an ad set budget optimization campaign. We've talked about this previously. You can also take a look at how, how I set them up on this account. And what you do then is you put like one angle in one ad set and it's completely broad and you just let the creative do the targeting. This is really important. The next thing you do is you set a budget of 75 to 125 if the AUV, so your average order value is below 100, or you choose like 150 to 200 per day if the AOV is above 100. Now, if you can't invest that kind of money into your ads, then choose something that's smaller, but I'd much rather spend more money on a few things than actually few money on a lot of things. So never spend little money on a lot of things. Like don't do this $10 per day ad set testing, $2 per day ad set testing. It's absolutely ridiculous because you will never find creatives that scale. They can't sustain scale. The reason why they work at this low budget is they get like one, two purchases and you complete your whole world with the roars looks great, but it's actually not really contributing to anything of your brand. So choose a higher budget, do like three angles. You should be able to afford that. And that should help you to find in something that you can analyze and that is step five we go now into the analysis because then after four to seven days or 500 in spend we like to take a look at the performance we've gotten so far and it's really crucial that we analyze it properly you can't just say i run it for one two days and then well it doesn't work or it works so well and then you scale it that is not the way to do it your ad needs to get some like 
skin in the game essentially it needs to spend some money so you can actually either scale it or kill it because otherwise you don't know if it's a winner and or it's a complete loser so definitely test it for like four to seven days or 500 in spend and then you identify the best performing ad set which is essentially the angle again right we have if we do three angles we have three ad sets and each of these ad sets holds like these three to five ads that we do and then you can analyze okay which angle works best i found like at one of angle one performs really well let's create three more variations of that best ad and if it's a video creative it's as easy as sometimes switching out the the hooks so the, the first three scenes of the video right you can do like how i got perfect skin without doing x then the next hook could be using x product for 30 days here are my results or something like that something that is related to that angle so if it's the transformation angle keep the transformation in the main focus but switch out the hooks so the first three seconds which you can just change out very easily and then you have even more chances to make the most out of this best performing angle now if you do this and you double down on what works then you will scale in no time because you will find something that works you double down on it you will find more things that work and there's no chance of going into the wrong direction so always follow what works and it sounds so simple and logical and common sense but actually what people do is rather stupid things and when you say someone has common sense and it's actually uncommon sense so find out what's working double down on it listen to no one don't test like stupid shit you test uh, you read on twitter and stuff Go and double down on the things that are working for your account, get your account back on track, scale it up and you will reach the next level. And this is actually step six, because here we have scaling the best ad set in the testing campaign as a first thing. So you increase the budget already in the testing ABO campaign. And the second thing is, if you validate that creative as a winner, use the post ID, this unique address where all the likes and comments are kept on this ad and scale it in a CBO campaign or an ABO campaign. And then you just increase the budgets by 20% every like here it's at three to five days that's really like the moderate way to do it you can already do it like every two or three days sometimes every day if performance really holds up well and you look at store performance as well like overall new customer acquisition performance then you can do something like that as well and then again like you back on track like this should help you do it and the important thing is usually these slumps they kind of occur because we don't test enough or we get a bit loose with things, like we slack with things. So I would recommend you do this twice a month and there's no way you can't scale. And of course, as you advance as a media buyer, as a brand owner, whatever you do, you will get more into creative strategy, innovate new angles, go that route and be completely autark and really be strong with your creative game and you will have no issues to scale. And we will take a look at that in future videos, but again, today it's about survival. We wanted to take a look at what to do when the fucking roof is on fire. And I think we did that, so I hope this was helpful. If you need to know anything about it or you have any questions about what campaigns to use anything, drop them down below in the comments. I'm happy to help as always. And I appreciate the positive feedback for the latest videos. And I would say I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.